guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So these bombshells came to kaboom, yeah? Ka kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. Because before I get into this video, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You already know, road to 20k. Alrighty guys, the episode starts off with um, the aftermath of the dumping. Toby and Georgia were dumped from the villa or yeah, told to get to go home basically. Um, Sally and Iyao are having a conversation and I definitely think that they're liking each other more. I think Iyao is showing Sally, I think exactly what she wants to see. He's comforting her, he cares about her. He, even though she's going through things, he lets her go through things and isn't, or at least doesn't appear to be bothered by it. Whereas Toby, it seems like the switch did happen when uh johnny came in and then of course she had that argument with him and he was like oh she must care and then yao comes in and just ordered this i think that's probably yeah what like helped bring down their relationship whereas with yao i don't think that's going to be the case it seems like he's very confident and is very certain of his connection with Sally and isn't going to let something like that i.e her crying about totally leaving bother him he seems like he's more just focused on her and um have been happy so i think that's very very cute y'all's definitely been showing me such a cute side this season i'm loving to see it for sure imani and ray have a conversation and they are discussing that their decision didn't make any sense to put Co kobe well toby and georgia there and of course they now got dumped now i'm confused on what their game plan was because some people were saying oh, i was team usa team usa team, team usa but i'm sorry there are too many of them for them not to be concerned about 100k. I'm not, I, I, I don't even think that's how people are playing the game. Like, I know certain people are like, oh, there's a lot of UK people, which is fine, but I don't even think that's how people are playing the game. It's at least it hasn't been clear to me that people are playing based on where you're from. I didn't pick up on that. If that was the case, I really did not pick up on that at all. Um, so, and even still, there's how many of you guys from the US Y'all can't split 100k how many, eight ways. Like, it's just not going to work. Um, I understand y'all want to be friends and you guys are worried about connections, but it's not, you guys are not here to be worried about connections. In order for you guys to win, connections are going to have to be broken up. That's just the point, the blank of the period. So I understand they want to keep a friendship and stuff like that, but if these people are really here for this money, they're not going to be offended by you sending them home. So let's see how they go from here, but it doesn't seem like they thought that decision through and it didn't really make too much sense to me either but cool then we find out that megan is really sick she's had to go to the hospital so i think she's actually left the show in its entirety so it doesn't appear that kara is able to get the full degree of closure that she wants because uh megan on her way back to the uk probably sometime soon so um she's not gonna really be able to get into the meat or potatoes while this girl lied to her and wasted her time but hey ho let's go so then they get a text and they're supposed to be going to a pool party and everyone gets ready in their bikinis and their uh trunks i think you got it um so justine and jack are having a conversation and i'm glad that justine took the route that i suggested even though this is pre-recorded because i just think it would have been eating her alive i think i'm kind of like a girl like justine where i have something to say i need to say it like sometimes i shouldn't say it. it's not how you play the game and it's not how you should do things and look more mysterious and stuff like that and i absolutely agree with that and i wish i was that type of person and i think i can be like that sometimes but fundamentally, by nature, I like to tell people how I feel, uh, whether it's a friend or an, someone I'm interested in. Um, there's pros and cons. There's pros and cons. But I think just for her to stop overthinking, which, again, I am very, very guilty of doing, she had to open up. So she opens up and she just tells him that she's basically catching feelings. And, yeah, she's definitely starting to like him a lot. So then... Jack does end up saying back that I have the same feelings as you and basically says that like, yeah, I feel the way you feel, which I think was very, very validating to Justine. Now, whether he's telling the truth or not, guys, time will tell. Time will tell. But at the moment, it appears that they're on the same page. So having this conversation with him was either going to let them be solid and know where they're going or they were just going to stop talking. So I think by the same time, he could still be playing again. We don't know. Just because if he ends up saying, no, I'm not interested in anything serious with you. And she says, peace, then that strong coupling is no more. So what we shall see. I'm not going to judge anything yet. Time shall tell. But he did mention the things that Justin knew he would be concerned about. I.e. they don't live in the same city. She lives in LA. He lives in London. Uh, the pond is big. It takes about... It takes a long time because even I'm flying to Florida soon, guys. I'm going to be in Florida soon. Yeah. Period. I'm sorry. I'm so excited about that. But anyways, um, flying business as well. Yeah. But 
yeah, flying to Florida is like 10 hours. So flying to LA from London will be at least like, what, 13 hours. That's a long, that's a long, long distance relationship. Um, so <laughs> it's, but again, maybe the stupid, um, I'm not, I don't think I'm a, maybe I am a hopeless romantic, I don't know, but I think the stupid person in me would think, oh, there's a possibility it could work, but 13 hours is a long time, child. That's, that's a long, that's over half a day. That's a long time. Maybe not. New York, New York would have been fine. LA is a bit far. Okay, maybe, I, maybe I'm not, because I think I could do maybe New York, because that's about six, seven hours. LA, I don't think I could do. But anyways, moving on. Um, and now, yeah, but now she can enjoy herself now and enjoy whatever's going on with Jack. So then we get a text. No, no, we don't get a text. Sorry, the three new bombshells come in. So we have Courtney from US Love Island, um, Carrington. Honestly, a name about Carrington, you would think he was from the UK because what kind of name is Carrington? It seems very posh, in my opinion. Um, and then we have Mike from season six, um, arguably one of the worst Love Islands, I would say. But I liked Mike. Uh, oh, did I? Yeah, I did like Mike. Did I like Mike? I can't remember, but I like Mike now. Let me just say that. <laughs> I like Mike now. Um, Courtney's voice does my actual head in. I can't even, I was gonna do a reenaction, a reenactment, sorry, but I can't remember how it sounds. It's just, like, it's just super high. Like, oh, I can't even do it. I can't even, I was gonna try, I can't do it because I can't remember what it sounds like, but it's just so high pitched. It almost like, is it even a real voice? I was kind of confused by it. Um, and her voice needs to go where? In the bin. Now, that might be a silly reason, but guys, I'm sorry, I can't really listen to her too tough because her voice really gets to the back of my head, like right here. Um, and I'm just not keen on the voice, but she's a cute girl. The girl's cute, the girl's cute. Um, I wonder where she's from with a voice like that. I just, I, I, I can't tell you where she's from, but she's from somewhere, child. Um, now, Mike, I'm glad when they were going around talking about, oh, what did you come in for here for Carrington and Courtney? I talk about, oh yeah, I came for both, I came for both. Mike's like, I came to win. But you know what I mean? If something comes out of it, great. I think that's because he's being honest. Now, is this game plan gonna work with him? Because maybe he's too honest, we don't know. We don't know, but we shall see. Now, Jack had the bright idea of having like a game for the three bombshells to go kiss the person that they like. But Jack didn't know that Mike liked Justine. So Mike went over being confident, yeah? And went to go kiss Justine. Um, yeah. Oof, yeah. Now, it seemed like Justine definitely did like the kiss, but then she ended up saying, no kiss is better than a kiss with feelings. Maybe, honestly, I feel like I would like Justine in real life for real, because I agree, like, when you like somebody, it's just diff. It's y'all know it's just different. It's just different, yeah. Um, and then Mike ends up kissing Imani too. Like you know, like okay, in Europe, you say Ojukokoro. That means you're greedy. Mike was like, boy, Jack gave me the opportunity. I'm gonna go for mine, and he was like. Let me kiss the girls that I like. So he kissed Justine, he kissed, he kissed Imani, he kissed two really, really bad bees and he was enjoying. Trust to believe Mike did his big one. He showed up and showed out and I respect it, a period. Um, Carrington kissed Kira and Courtney kissed Jack. So I was thinking, are Jack and Justine gonna be split up like Toby and Sally? We shall see. I don't think it's gonna happen, but we shall see. Um, and then Sally's like, <laughs> Let's play a game of spin the ball because I guess she was getting jealous that other people were getting kisses and she was like, uh uh. Why are y'all being greedy? Let's all get involved. So they were doing spin the bottle and everybody was kissing everybody. Mike again kissed Imani and Justine again. Mike was just outside, period. All I saw was just bare swapping of saliva and these people enjoying themselves. So I guess it was a good game. Ray and Johnny are having a conversation in the morning and Ray is talking about, oh, was it in the morning? Yeah, I think it was in the morning and they are talking about my money getting kissed by Mike and Ray definitely does seem bothered by it but he's saying like he's cool but he definitely does seem bothered by the situation now Johnny now confesses that he likes Courtney now um and that you know what I mean it's giving he was like it's, he was like the kiss that they did have was given he picked her up he touched her bum then he lifted her up and I mean, he filled his hand with her buttocks, um, not her buttocks, child, but he filled his hands up um, with her ass and 
Yeah, he's feeling her. Now, the thing about Johnny is he's just really simple, which is why I don't understand why Jess is even upset, why she's crying, why she's even surprised about what is going on. Because Johnny deserves to go where? In the bin. And he belongs in the bin. And he's going to stay in the bin. But she thought she could be Captain Saber. You know what? Anyways, Johnny just likes new, new cat. That's it. He likes new. Liberty was new. Jessica was new. Georgia was new. Now Courtney is new. He just likes new. And it's almost like once he's conquered you, once he's had you, even though he hasn't had them like that, even once he's had you, once he's tasted you, then he can move to the next because it's almost like a mission accomplished. Like, like the main mission is to win 100K. And then all him kissing all these other random girls are all side missions. And he's a he's completing all these side missions. And that's just what it is. He just likes new girls, new challenge. That's it. And I guess he, he looks at this one, or he looks at Courtney and he's like, this is the baddest one. So that's what he's doing. Now, um, who is it? Um, the girls are encouraging Kira to go with Carrington. Now, guys, I watched season two of Love Island USA. How is Carrington? Do we believe him? Do we trust him? Should we trust him? What's he saying? Because he did admit that on his season he was a player, or he was coined a player because he was doing what the game required him to do. So, should we keep his, my, our eye on him or, you know, is Kira okay? We shall see. Then Carrington and, and Kira end up having a conversation. He's definitely making effort with her and she is very much so appreciating the effort that he's putting in. But while she's speaking to Ka um, Carrington, Courtney now comes over and pulls her for a chat. So, Courtney is also bisexual and Courtney is feeling Kira. They are talking about star signs, talk about where they live, talk about this, this, that, and the third. And then Courtney goes in for a kiss. Now, it's actually so crazy because Courtney, it's so funny that Megan got sent home, but Ke I mean, not Kira, Courtney is literally the physical version, the, uh, the same person in Megan, just different body. Because the way she's kissing bare people, I'm like, hang on a minute. On top of her kissing Kira in broad daylight, she kissed Callum at night. So I'm just trying to think, the baby girl's outside, okay? Baby girl's outside. It's so crazy. Megan is gone, but her spirit is very much still left over. So, I guess, big up corny. But at least no one's feelings are getting hurt right yet, right now. So, hey ho. Justine and Mike are having a conversation. They are vibing. Mike is definitely trying to put the moves on her. Definitely trying to humor her and up and everything. And he's saying that you're my number one and being with me is an upgrade from Jack. So he's definitely laying it on thick and making his feelings be known. Now, if Justine doesn't, isn't feeling him, she definitely isn't making that known. She definitely is not. Callum and Courtney have a conversation. Now, I would tell you what happened in that conversation, but all I remember was just noise. So his accent and, and her accent together with the pitch, I, I couldn't hear. I could, I could not hear. I would actually have required subtitles so I don't have any commentary. Mike speaks to Imani. They are also vibing. They talk about career, being competitive, and it seems that they have a lot of things in common. Now, Mike, again, also is laying it on thick, even though Justine is his number one. He started saying, like, I think um, Imani said she's going to keep the door open. Uh, the door isn't closed. And he was like, even if the door was closed, I'll kick the door open. I'll take it off the hinge. So, or hinges. And I think Imani is liking that playfulness, that directness that he's giving, that confidence. Because I think Ray... He's really letting things get to him. And I guess if this is the same thing about when he lost that challenge to Johnny, the duel, it's giving that he doesn't bounce back quick after, like, defeat or something that has upset him. He doesn't at all. And seeing Mike come in and being like, really, just go get a re... It's attractive. It is attractive. So Johnny is now um, telling Jessica that he likes her. Um, and then not too long afterwards, he pulls... Courtney for a chat and Jessica's like oh I knew this was gonna happen I knew so why are you still here why do you keep on being surprised every single time something that you know is gonna happen happens why would we be upset that the sun rises every morning the sun rises every morning like Johnny is gonna go and stray like is that is it's just like that that is just that guaranteed like literally is just that guaranteed I do still feel bad for her because maybe she thought she can change him but it's just a uh, 
guys I, she knows better she's just not gonna do better so johnny is now speaking to courtney and he's saying that there's something missing between jessica and i i don't know what it is but it just seems like i've been waiting for you and you've come in now and it's just i'm feeling it and um basically what all that means is that he's going to be managing jess until courtney picks him chooses him decides to be with him um which is really messed up it's just really really messed up but again why are we surprised he is just really he's just really sexually attracted to courtney but also he's just gonna he just wants something new i just don't know why jessica thought he was gonna settle down with her like i just don't understand based on what he's shown why that she has that impression i just can't stress it enough and and i do feel bad for her because when they do end up having a conversation jessica does say that she's confused and that he always goes for these bombshells and that's the thing is she is she definitely is recognizing the things that he does that upsets her that causes her causes for a concern but she just doesn't act on it which is the part that's the shame so she's not just dumb like she's not blindly dumb she's not ignorant to the situation she's very aware but her actions aren't going to change his behavior not at all the man, a man's gonna do what a man wants to do um and she says that she doesn't believe that he likes her and she feels like he's playing a game um mind you guys i don't know if you guys know thank you to sm you always tag me in stuff or at me and stuff on tiktok i always appreciate you sm that's a subscriber always 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 tags me and stuff um and she and, oh, i think i'm gonna say it's a she i think it's a she Anyways, she showed me um a video that johnny is having a kid with somebody else sometime soon they doing she's far enough that she's doing gender reveal they're having a girl i saw him walking on the beach with her so i think together it's i'm not gonna lie, guys it's very much giving Bartiz different franchise it's very much so giving Bartiz from love is blind different franchise you're out here doing this show doing this show doing other shows and then you're here and you've got a pregnant girlfriend and the show is airing what are you doing but again maybe he's more so here for the money because maybe at the time he already knew he had a baby on the way and he was probably like girl I'm going to have to be doing some stuff that I don't want to do. You might be seeing some stuff that you don't want to see, but we're trying to get this money and maybe she was cool with it. I don't know what the timings are, but yeah, Johnny is indeed having a kid and this is the rubbish that he's doing on TV um, while his girl is pregnant. Cool. Or girl, or I don't know if they're together or not, child. I don't know, but they did the gender reveal together. So I guess that's something. That's something. Um, so yeah, because jessica sees what he's doing and even questions the way she he if he likes her or not saying that he, he's not being this he's being dishonest the fact that she doesn't even feel safe and there's no time she really feels safe means that she needs to run because at least if you had moments of safety even if it's still silly to stay at least it's like oh it's 75 percent good it's 90 percent good then it's it's decently good just based on percentage but if it's really bad most of the time and you're even down to whether he likes you or not i think that's pretty scary and i think that's pretty telling I mean, if, if you're asking me. Um, so, and then Johnny now goes to say that I'm getting to know people. That's what we're here to do. That's the part of the whole game. So he's using the guise of it being Love Island, even though it's Love Island games, or Love Island, to basically waste Jessica's time. So the conversation ended decently enough, I guess. Um, but then she goes over to uh, Ray. Is he Ray? Ray, Justine, and Jack. And then she ends up crying because immediately after her conversation with him, Johnny pulls Courtney for another chat. And yeah, I think she played herself in terms of thinking that you're going to find love on love, love Island. I know that's the, the title, but yeah. Especially Love Island games. Yeah, no. Especially you guys don't even live in the same country. Yeah, no. Especially it being Johnny. Yeah, no. Um, so then they get a text and they're going to be, they're going to be a recoupling and the three bombshells will pick first and then the girls will follow. Justine does not want Matt to pick her, but she didn't make that clear at all. So I was getting nervous. She's now open up to Jack. She wants Jack. She doesn't want to mess that up. So the recoupling oh no, and then Ray and Imani have a conversation and Ray is just super duper in his feelings. Um but he should just express that. But the problem, yeah, we've raised that when he's upset about something, he's not expressive and it's just not giving. It's not attractive. It shows that he doesn't really know how to communicate when he's upset. And it's not just, and it's not Imani's fault. So boss up, have the conversation with her, re reassure her. So don't let her go into this new situation with, um, with, Ray, with Ray. Don't let her go into this new situation with, um, what's my man's name? With Mike. 
and let her go and enjoy it based on you not reassuring her and you, you being frosty with her. That's your girl. Speak to her. You know, like, come on, Gray. This your girl. Don't give her up now because I'll be really dumb. But anyways, the be coupling starts. Car Car Carrington picks uh, Kira. Mike picks Imani. So he's definitely picking based on competition because he definitely prefers Justine, but he picks Imani. I think that's good because Justine was never an option for him. So Imani was the next best thing. I'm just hoping that if Imani does want to find love in this villa, I don't know if he's going to be Mike uh, just because he really is here to win. And yeah, he can like her, but you're his number two. You're Ray's number one. So it's a no-brainer for me. But if to compete and win money, do your thing, sis. Then Courtney ends up picking Johnny. But the part which was unsurprising, it was the speech that she said. She said, I'm picking this person because he told me he was waiting for me to walk through the doors. Um, so when she picks Johnny, everyone's like... And Jessica looks like she wants to cry. Because she knew this. She knew. She already knew what, what type of time it was. She already knew. But now she gets to find out in front of everybody else, which is a bit terrible. Um, and in, look, she looks like she's going to cry. Johnny looks like he wants to laugh and he's smiling and stuff like that. So that's exactly the type of person that he is. Hopefully this sign wakes her up. It, I'm hoping it wakes her up. Yes, Courtney picked Johnny and not the other way around, but wake up. Because the thing is, I'm not going to feel sorry to her for her too tough because the, you're just liberty. You're liberty a couple of days ago. Same person, same situation, just a couple of days ago. Even though, yeah, Johnny, again, like I said, Courtney picked her, but still, same situation. Look at what she said he said. I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for someone like you to walk into the villa. So that means he was just managing you. Listen up. There is no second chances with him. But if you like trouble, you do you, sis. But guys, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.